Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to host an L11T project on Netlify server using GitHub and Netlify CLI and also set up continuous deployment. In part 1 of this tutorial, we built a simple static website using 11 t and Tailwind CSS. If you haven't watched that video, it's okay as long as you have an 11 t project ready to be deployed. Let's go! If you followed the part 1 of this tutorial or if you built an 11 t project on your own, you must be having a directory structure similar to this, especially the underscore site folder here. In the previous video, we used this long command here to build our styles with Tailwind CSS. Now, instead of typing this every time, let's add this into our package.json file as a script. Open package.json file. Let's call it dev. Paste it here. Let's create another script prod for production. This will be the same command except for the watch flag. Now we are ready to deploy this project. First, initialize the git repository if you haven't already. Initialized empty git repository. Now we don't want this node modules folder to uh, be committed to our repository. So let's add a git ignore file and add node modules into it. Sorry, yeah, node modules. We also don't want the underscore site directory to be in the Git repository because Netlify can build it on its own. So let's add underscore site also into Git ignore. Now add the files, git add, then git commit, initial commit. Right, so now on GitHub, let's create a repository first. GitHub new repository and let me call it eleventy tailwind netlify uh, because i already have an eleventy tailwind repository and let's make it private yes it's possible to make it private and still host it on uh, netlify using the uh, cli create repository and now Let's change the branch to main and add this URL as remote origin. And then finally push it using git push. If you haven't signed into GitHub through VS Code, let's do that now. I would prefer to use the personal access token. I'll show you how to create that. In your GitHub account, you can go to settings and then down here go to developer settings here go to personal access tokens and you can generate a new token here so just give it any name i'll just call it temporary because i'm going to delete this immediately uh, check repo workflow write delete and generate token you will be able to see this token only once. So make sure you copy it and keep it somewhere safe. I am going to use this right now and delete even before you see the video. So you cannot access this. All right, so I've copied it and let's use that here. Paste the personal access token, sign in. Yes, so if you come back to VS Code, it's done. Main is set up to track. Let's verify that in the browser. Go to your repositories, Eleventy, Tailwind, Netlify, and we have all the files here. Great. Our GitHub is set up. Now, Netlify, if you don't already have an account, create a free one right away. You can just sign up for a free account, sign in with one of the following. I've signed in using GitHub and then come back to your Visual Studio code. Let me clear it up. Now let's install Netlify CLI. What is Netlify CLI? It just helps you to manage your sites on Netlify using command line interface. And you can either install it globally so you can access it from any project or you can install it locally if you have different settings and uh, you know different preferences for each project. I'd like to install it locally now. So I'll say npm 
install dash d is to install it as a dev dependency locally netlify cli this will take a few minutes so this is installed let me clear it again and now you can say netlify in it uh, to execute it let me use npx npx netlify in it this will prompt you to log in first but since i already have logged in before it's directly asking me do you want to connect this directory to an existing netlify site or create and configure a new site i'd like to create and configure a new site so use the arrow mark and hit enter next question which team yes select the only team that you have and then it's going to ask you for the site name you can change it later but uh, let me type something here eleventy tailwind netlify the same huge name site is created and now it's asking me for the build command so this is really important since we are using tailwind css the first uh, command is obviously eleventy because we need the underscore site folder so netlify is going to use eleventy command first and you can add other commands right after this i'll be using and and to add another command and here i'd like to run npm run prod because that script is what looks for tailwind css utility classes in the underscore site folder and builds the css now you can't reverse this you can't say npm run prod and eleventy because uh, when you do this tailwind css is going to look for underscore site folder that's the path we have given if you remember uh, if you want to just revise yeah so we have given this content here underscore site it's going to look here first and if there is no underscore site then your uh, css will not be built or if you've added new utility classes then your style sheet will not be up to date so it's very important to first run eleventy and then run npm uh, you know the tailwind build command so hit enter and directory to deploy you can just leave this blank it will take it as underscore site by default netlify functions folder just hit enter and then no netlify.tuml detected yes i'd like to create one and that's it it's adding deploy key to repository deploy key added it's doing all the other things necessary and now you can do netlify open to see what's happening in netlify it's it opens the netlify admin url oh sorry it you have to do npx netlify open did i say netlify i'm so sorry npx netlify open so let me log in And there it is it says deploying your site site deploy in progress and your site is deployed so let's take a look at it perfect we have our site deployed in one go now let's say we want to make some changes it's very simple come to visual studio code uh, let's close all of this let me make a change to the about page maybe in sections go to about.html let me just say about and save this now using git let me make, push the changes git add git commit change in about page and then git push that's it so it pushed to the git hub repository from there it's also pushed to netlify to check that you can go to deploys here and you can see that it's building right now it just started building you can look at what's happening here so you can see in case there's an error you can uh, see that right here it's still working on it it doesn't take so long every time usually the subsequent times it's faster and yes so you see netlify build this is the build command we entered it's done what it's supposed to do and yes it says site is live and you can go here refresh it go to about page and note see that about us has been changed to about 
So now you don't have to do anything. You don't have to log into Netlify at all. You can just come here, make, make some changes, add, commit, push, and that's it. Your site will directly be able to take the changes through GitHub into Netlify. But in case something didn't go right, you know that you can always go to deploy details and check the log and see what's happening exactly. This was a very short video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. I'll try to answer all of them.